Sahu welcome you all to SNFs Biology. In this video, we are going to discuss about the exocrine glands. Okay, so before discussing about the exocrine glands, I will tell you that if you are new to our channel, please subscribe kar and press the bell icon next to the subscription button to get all the notifications from us. Okay, do watch the full video and let's study about the exocrine glands. Okay, so first question, what are these exocrine glands? Glands. Okay. What? So these are the glands which release their secretions into the ducts. Okay. मैं पहले भी बोली थी कि जो endocrine glands होते हैं, वो ductless gland होते हैं. Right? They do not release their secretion into the ducts. But these exocrine glands, they release the secretions into the ducts. Okay. So these are the glands with ducts. Clear? Now. What they secrete? Okay. What is the secretion? So, these exocrine glands secrete mucus, oil, sweat, earwax, enzymes, various digestive enzymes, saliva and saliva. Okay. So, these are the secretions of these exocrine glands. And where this secretion goes? This secretion goes into ducts. Okay? Clear? Now, let's study the classification of these exocrine glands. Okay? Classification. So, considering the classification, there are two criteria. Okay? First, structure. And second one is the function. Okay? Structural classification हम पढ़ेंगे, उसके साथ functional classification भी हम पढ़ेंगे. So, considering the structural classification, they can be unicellular or multicellular. Okay? Okay? Then, they can be branched or unbranched. Okay, and the third is their shape. Okay, clear? So, pehle unicellular glands or multicellular glands then gete hai, ye important hai. What are the unicellular glands? So, as the name suggests, these unicellular glands are made up of only one cell, single cell. Okay, so iska example hai, kya hai iska example? Goblet cell. Okay, goblet cells. Clear? And these goblet cells release their secretion on the apical surface of the lining epithelium. Okay. Main epithelial tissue ke baare mein already padha chuki hu. To wahaan pe goblet cell ke baare mein bhi mein padha hi hu. To jo i button hai, us mein click karke, aap ho wala video bhi dekh sakte hai. Okay. So, unicellular gland ka best example hai humara goblet cell. Clear? Now, considering the multicellular glands, these are made up of Many cells, clear. So, this example ho jayenge humare pseudoriferous glands, pseudoriferous glands, then sebaceous gland, and then salivary glands. Clear. So, what pseudoriferous glands do? They secrete sweat. Clear. Inhe sweat glands bhi bolte hai, or pseudoriferous glands bhi bolte hai. Clear? And what are the sebaceous glands? These secrete sebum. Okay. Or the oil. Clear? And what are the salivary glands? These secrete saliva. Clear? So this is all about the unicellular and multicellular exocrine glands. This is the important thing about them. Clear? Then, unke structure ko agar hum dekhenge, ye exocrine glands branched ho sakte hai, ya fir unbranched ho sakte hai. और उनका शेप भी वेरी कर सकता है, ओके, क्लियर? नाउ लेट्स स्टडी अबाउट देयर फंक्शनल क्लासिफिकेशन, ओके, सो हाउ दिस एक्सोक्राइन ग्लांस रिलीज देयर प्रोडक्ट्स, अकॉर्डिंगली दिस कैन बी ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स, द फर्स्ट वन इज़ द मेरोक्राइन ग्लांस, द सेकंड वन इज़ द एपोक्राइन ग्लांस � Holocrine gland. Okay. So, what are the merocrine glands? 
these glands the thing that they secrete are synthesized by the ribosomes which are present in the rough endoplasmic reticulum okay the secretions are synthesized by ribosomes of rough endoplasmic reticulum and after they are synthesized then they are processed then they are sorted and then they are packed okay clear by the golgi bodies okay clear and after their processing sorting and packaging they are released by released by the secretory vesicles secretory vesicles of the cell through the process of exocytosis okay clear so remember this the secretion of the merocrine glands are synthesized by the ribosomes of rough endoplasmic reticulum then they are processed sorted packaged by the golgi bodies and then they are released by the secretory vesicles of the cell through exocytosis process so what is the exocytosis process it is the process of cell vomiting right endocytosis ka matlab kya hota hai cell eating pinocytosis ka matlab kya hota hai cell drinking and exocytosis ka matlab hai cell vomiting to kaise hota hai consider this to be the gland of the cell sorry cell of the gland clear so this is the nucleus okay and surrounding the nucleus present the rough endoplasmic reticulum okay clear yeah. and on the rough endoplasmic reticulum present the ribosomes clear yeah. and by these ribosomes the products are synthesized okay consider this to be the products okay clear yeah. then they are then by the help of the golgi bodies they are processed sorted and packaged clear and they get accumulated in the secretory vesicles and these secretory vesicles take them to the cell membrane clear and attached to the cell membrane when they the secretory vesicles get attached to the cell membrane the point of attachment get dissolved okay and the secretory products are released outside clear this is the mechanism of the secretion of the मेरोक्राइन ग्लैंड्स तो इसके क्या एग्जांपल्स हो जाएंगे हमारे हमारे सलाइवरी ग्लैंड्स एंड पैनक्रियास ओके क्लियर सो रिमेंबर दिस द पैनक्रियास हैज बोथ एंडोक्राइन एक्टिविटी एज वेल एज एक्सोक्राइन एक्टिविटी क्लियर तो इसका एग्जांपल हो जाएंगे हमारे सलाइवरी ग्लैंड्स एंड पैनक्रियास व्हिच कम अंडर द मेरोक्राइन ग्लैंड्स क्लियर नाउ लेट्स स्टडी अबाउट the apocrine glands in case of apocrine glands the secretion get accumulated at the apical surface of the secreting cell okay clear then after the accumulation they are released outside through the process of pinching off okay clear so how it happens consider this to be the cell okay so pehle kya hota hai ki ye yahan pe accumulate kar jayenge ek aise bud jaise form ho jayega clear and it this portion of the cell will get detached from the rest of the cell clear to ye bahar chala gaya secretion aur ye jo baki jo reh gaya cell that will repair itself clear to iska hamara example ho jayega mammary glands ओके okay. क्लियर तो अभी आएंगे हम होलोक्राइन ग्लैंड्स में क्लियर सो दीज ग्लैंड्स सीक्रेट देयर प्रोडक्ट ओके एंड द सीक्रेटेड प्रोडक्ट एंड द प्रोडक्ट दैट आर सीक्रेटेड गेट एक्यूमुलेटेड इन देयर साइटोसोम क्लियर ये याद रखना यहां पे कहां पे एक्यूमुलेट होते थे 
एपिकल सरफेस ऑफ द सेल पे क्लियर बट यहां पे कहा एक्यूमुलेट होंगे साइटोसोल पे क्लियर सो व्हेन द सेल गेट मैच्योर तो क्या होगा ये सब बाहर निकल जाएंगे एक्यूमुलेशन प्रोडक्ट क्लियर तो कैसे होगा कंसिडर दिस टू बी द सेल तो पहले ऐसे क्या एक्यूमुलेशन होगा फिर क्या होगा ये सेल यहां पे डिजोल्व हो जाएगा मेम्ब्रेन यहां पे डिजोल्व हो जाएगा और ये सब निकल जाएंगे टू आउटसाइड ऑफ द सेल क्लियर तो इसका एग्जांपल है हमारा सेबसियस ग्लैंड्स बेस्ट एग्जांपल इज योर पिंपल क्या होता है कि पहले एक्यूमुलेट होते हैं ओके okay, जो भी प्रोडक्ट है जो ऑयल्स है क्लियर वो एक्यूमुलेट होते हैं फिर वो पिंच डॉप होके बाहर चले जाते हैं क्लियर तो क्या हो जाएगा इसका सेबसियस ग्लैंड एंड आफ्टर द रिलीज ऑफ द सेबसियस ग्लैंड देन द सेल रिपेयर इट सेल्फ क्लियर तो ये हो गए हमारे मेरोक्राइन एपोक्राइन एंड होलोक्राइन ग्लैंड क्लियर तो अभी मैं आप लोगों को एक ब्रीफ डिस्क्रिप्शन दे देती हूँ तो पहले हम पढ़े अबाउट गॉबलेट सेल्स ओके विच आर यूनिसेल्युलर एक्सोक्राइन ग्लैंड क्लियर एंड द सीक्रेट म्यूकस विच गोज इन टू द सर्फेस ऑफ द एपिकल सर्फेस ऑफ द लाइनिंग एपिथेलियम ऑफ द लाइनिंग एपिथेलियम क्लियर फिर हम पढ़े किसके बारे में About the multicellular gland, जिसमें हम पढ़े सुडोरीफेरस ग्लैंड फिर सेबसियस ग्लैंड फिर सलाइवरी ग्लैंड क्लियर तो सुडोरीफेरस ग्लैंड क्या सीक्रेट करते हैं द सीक्रेट स्वेट सेबसियस ग्लैंड क्या सीक्रेट करते हैं द सीक्रेट सेबम और ऑयल एंड सलाइवेरी ग्लैंड क्या सीक्रेट करते हैं द सीक्रेट सलाइवा All these three come under multicellular glands. Clear? Multicellular exocrine glands. फिर हम पढ़े about merocrine, apocrine and holocrine glands. तो merocrine glands. इसमें हम पढ़े about pancreas. फिर about the salivary gland. Clear? फिर हम पढ़े क्या हमारा एपोक्राइन ग्लैंड उसमें हम पढ़े अबाउट मेमोरी ग्लैंड क्लियर उसके बाद होलोक्राइन ग्लैंड हम उसमें पढ़े अबाउट सेबसियस ग्लैंड क्लियर तो दीज आर ऑल द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ एक्सोक्राइन ग्लैंड रिमेंबर दिस In case of merocrine glands, the secretory product are synthesized by the ribosomes of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Then they are processed, sorted, and packaged by the Golgi bodies. And by the process of exocytosis, they get released outside of the cell through through, through the secretory vesicles. Okay. Now about the apocrine glands. Okay. So these glands. The secretion of these glands get accumulated at the apical surface of the cell, okay? And by the process of pinching off or the detachment process, the secretion goes outside of the cell, and after they go outside, the cell repairs itself, okay? And the process get repeated, okay? Fifth, I am going to our holocrine glands. In case of these glands, the secretory product get accumulated in their cytosol. okay and when the cell matures the products are released outside okay clear and after the release of the product the slot of cell get repairs itself okay iska example ho jayenge hamare sebaceous glands jo main pimple ka example aapko di thi okay so this is all about exocrine glands okay to agar aapko hamara video pasand hai then you can like share these videos with everyone with your friends okay and spread the knowledge subscribe to our channel press the bell icon next to the subscription button to get all the notifications from us okay agar exocrine glands ke bare mein aapko koi doubt hai 
then you can ask me questions through the comment section thank you